Welcome, my friends. Tonight I'll be reading from Disney's 365 Bedtime Story, and tonight's story is called Spaghetti and Meatballs. It's from Lady and the Tramp. Tramp had just escaped from the dog catcher again. He thought that dog catcher, who was boss, Trump could smell wood burning and fireplaces and dinners cooking. His stomach suddenly rumbled, escaping from the dog catcher always worked up quite an appetite. But where would he go for dinner tonight? He usually stopped by the Strutzes for some Wiener Schitzel on Mondays and he had corned beef and cabbage with the O'Briens on Tuesdays. But what he was really, really craving was some spaghetti and meatballs. So Trump headed to Tony's restaurant. He scratched at the back door, as was his custom. I'm coming, I'm coming, Tony shouted. He appeared at the door, wiping his hands on a towel. He pretended not to see Trump, as he always did. Hey, nobody's here, Tony shouted. Trump couldn't take it anymore. <laughs> he was so hungry, he barked. Oh, there you are, Butch, my friend, said Tony. Trump whom Tony called Butch, jumped up and down. I'll get you dinner, said Tony. Relax, enjoy yourself. Tramp sat down and looked around the cluttered alleyway. This was the life. Tony reappeared with a plate full of pasta. He had given Tramp two, no, make that three meatballs. This was quite a special night. Tony stood and chatted with Champ as he ate his meal, telling him about his day, the late delivery of fish, the customer who had complained that the tomato sauce was too garlicky, the trip that he and his wife were planning to take. Champ finished eating and gave the plate one last lick. It was sparkling clean. That reminds me, said Tony, there's something I've been meaning to talk to you about. It's time you settled down and got a wife of your own. Cham gave Tony a horrified look and began to back out of the alleyway. Tony laughed so hard his sides shook. Goodbye, Butch, he called. But mark my words, one of these days, you're going to meet the dog you can't resist. And when you do, I have a good idea you bring her to Tony's for a nice romantic dinner. And that's how that dinner happened, guys. Hope you all have a good night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bisous!